Welcome to this demonstration from the EMC Solutions Group. This demonstration will show you an Oracle Extended Rack database deployed using VPlex for simplified management and administration. RecoverPoint is also integrated for point in time disaster recovery in the event of human error, corruption, or a wide scale physical disaster that affects both metro clusters. First, let's start up Swingbench to put some load on the database. This shows the solution architecture, including both production sites and the third site where the VPLEX witness was deployed. On site A, a VMAX 20K provides the storage, whilst on site B, a VNX 5700 was used. Brocade VDX switches were deployed at each site, and Brocade MLX routers were used to extend layer 2 networking between the data centers. The SAN was built using Brocade DCX backbones. Here we see Swingbench is running at a steady state. Notice also that we are connected to the cluster scan address. Now let's take a closer look at the environment. On the left, we see the VPLEX cluster status. Both clusters are available, as is the VPLEX witness. On the right, we are monitoring the rack nodes. All four are available. There are two nodes on each side. Now we inject the failure into the environment. As you can see, we've killed site A. As we continue to monitor the rack nodes, we see that nodes one and two on site A are ejected. Swingbench is still running as before, even though site A has failed. Here we see the interruption to site A has been resolved. Continue to observe the rack node status. Both nodes come back automatically. There is no need to reboot. An enhancement added in 11GR2. This demonstrates a zero RPO and RTO. Now we look at the addition of RecoverPoint to the solution. RecoverPoint provides disaster recovery in the event of human error, corruption, or a wide scale physical disaster that affects both metro clusters. This shows the solution architecture after the addition of RecoverPoint appliances to sites A and C. A VMAX 10K was also added to site C as a target for replication. Here we see the integration of VPLEX and RecoverPoint in the Unisphere for VPLEX GUI. Now a database administrator adds some records to our database. There are 5,000 records in the database at this time. We take a look at the RecoverPoint splitters. Site A is using a VPLEX splitter, whilst Site C is using a symmetric splitter. There is a single consistency group set up containing all the volumes on Site A that need to be replicated to Site C. Snapshots are occurring every three to four seconds. So in the event of a disaster, a snapshot could bring the environment back to within three seconds of the event. Now we'll create a bookmark. A bookmark is simply a named snapshot. We name the bookmark 5000. Here, we can see our bookmark alongside the regular snapshots. At present, there is no image access on the remote site. This can be seen as there are no green dashes between the host and the storage. Image access is enabled. Selecting the latest image is the default option. In this case, however, we wish to select the bookmark we created earlier. And there we have it. Bookmark image is now available on site C. Swingbench is still running on the production environment as before. Now we jump on to the servers on site C and access the image. We run a scan to find ASM disks, and then we list the disks. Notice the EMC PowerPath device names. We start the cluster on the replica image. We take a quick check of the cluster status 
all looks good. Here, our DBA checks the number of records in the database. It's at 5,000, just like the production site. As we see here, Swingbench is still running as before. Now it's time to again inject a failure into our environment. This time, we will disable both VPLEX Metro clusters. Now we will start our Swingbench load running against the bookmark image. Now we fail over to site C. Simply select failover and confirm that failover is indeed your intention. As you can see, site C is now the production site and site A is the replication site. Now the DBA inserts records into the database. We now have 11,000 records in the database running on site C. Now we'll create another bookmark, but in this case, site C is the source, as this is now the production site. Let's call the bookmark 11,000. We now enable image access on site A. We jump onto the host on site A, which is now the remote site. Once again, we scan for ASM disks, list the disks found, and restart the cluster. Remember, production is still running on site C while we do this. Our DBA checks the database, and the records inserted to the bookmark image on site C are now also available on site A. Listed here are the benefits of this solution. VPLEX enables, zero RPO and RTO, simplified deployment of extended Oracle rack, active active data centers for increased infrastructure utilization, VPLEX with integrated recover point, maximizes available points and time for disaster recovery. Replicas can also be used for other purposes. The complete white paper and technical presentation are available at the link shown here. Or simply Google everything Oracle at EMC. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration.